in this lecture we have to create the following model. So here we have two global variables A and B and we have to calculate the mass. So first we're going to start with this sketch here. So here we have two circles on this side and this side here and here we have a plate, this one here. Then we're going to extrude this plate with the depth B. After that we're going to create this part here by creating a rectangle and then we're going to create this part here as well by creating a rectangle. Here in the center of this rectangle we have a hole. So first we're going to create a hole and then we're going to create a cylinder, this one here. Then we're going to add those fillets and we're going to create a rib. At the end we're going to create those holes. First we have a hole here with a diameter of 5 millimeters. This hole doesn't go through all, as you can see here. It doesn't go through this cylinder. So pay attention to that. And then here we have two holes, hole type counterbore. This one here and this one here. As well, we must not forget here for a chamfer, 45 degrees and 1 millimeter. In the task 2, we have to modify the previous model and calculate the mass. So we have to modify our global variables. And here we can see that now the hole goes through all. In the task 3, as well, we have to modify the previous model, we have to change global variables and we have to add a material alloy steel and then calculate the mass. So let's go to task 1 and let's go to SOLIDWORKS. Now let's first define global variables, so let's go to the tools and equations. Let's go with a, a 120 millimeters, and then we have a B. And B is A multiplied by 2 divided by 4. And this is 60. Let's click OK. Now we're going to go on the front plane and we're going to create a sketch on the front plane. Like this. Let's go here to the line. Let's choose here midpoint line. Like this. And let's go right to the origin. Let's create horizontal line. Like this. Now let's go to the circle here. Let's create one circle on the left side and one circle on the right side. Like this. As well, let's create another circle here and another circle here. Like this. Now let's make those two circles equal. Like this. And let's make those two circles as well equal. Let's click OK. Now we can go to Smart Dimension and we can choose the center point of this circle and center point of this circle and this is dimension A. Let's click OK. Now let's define the diameter of this circle and this is 30 millimeters. And here we have the diameter of this circle, this is 26 millimeters. Like this. Now let's click OK. Now let's go to the line, let's create another horizontal line. From this circle here, this circle here, like this. Now let's go to Smart Dimension, let's put a distance here between those two lines. And this is 5 millimeters. Like this. Let's click OK. Now let's go to the trim, and let's trim here, this one, this one here, Yes, and this one here. As well, on the other side, this one here, this one here, and this one here. Now we can see that our sketch is not fully defined. Now let's click here on the center point of this circle, hold control on this point and on the origin, like this. Let's go with horizontal relation. Let's click OK. Now let's try to move our sketch to see what we're missing. So now we can move our sketch up and down, as you can see. So let's choose this midpoint of this line. And let's choose origin. Let's go with a coincident relation. Let's click OK. And our sketch is fully defined. Now we can go to the features, extrude boss base, and now we can extrude this by using mid plane. And let's go with a depth B, global variables and B. Let's click OK. And this is the first step. Now in the next step we have to create a rectangle on this face here. So let's go on this face and let's create a sketch. Let's go normal too. And now we're going to choose a center rectangle. And we're going to start here at the origin. Like this. Let's go to Smart Dimension. Let's put a mention of this line. This line is 40 millimeters. Now let's measure the distance between this edge and this line. And this is 5 millimeters. 
like this. Let's click OK. Now we can go to the features and we can extrude the sketch with 10 millimeters. Let's go here for the depth 10 millimeters. And this is the direction that we want. Let's click OK. Now here we have to create another rectangle. So let's go on the front plane now. And let's go normal too. And let's create a sketch on the front plane. Let's go here with the center rectangle like this. Now let's make this center point here and the origin vertical like this let's click ok now let's make those two lines equal like this now let's make this line and this edge here collinear like this now we can go to smart dimension and you can put a mention of this line and this is 30 millimeters like this let's click ok now here we have to create a hole so we're going to use here a circle so let's go with a circle let's go to the center point Let's put a diameter of 10 millimeters. Let's click OK. And now we can extrude our sketch. So let's go to the features, extrude boss base. And here for direction one, we're going to choose up to surface. And we're going to choose this surface here. Let's check direction two. Let's also select up to surface. Let's go to the other side. And let's select this face here. So this is the preview. Now we can just click OK. And this is it. Now let's create here fillets and chamfer. So let's go here and let's choose a chamfer here. Let's go here with the angle distance. And here for a distance, we're going to choose one millimeter and angle will be 45 degrees. Now we want to put a chamfer on this edge here, on this edge here, as well on the other side, on this edge here and this edge here. This is ways that we select this face inside here and this face inside here. And we can see now the preview here, 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 and here. And this is what we want. We can just click OK. Now we want to put some fillets on these edges on this side and on the other side, here and here. So let's go to the fillet. We have a radius 10 millimeters. Now let's select this edge here, this edge here, this one here, this one here as well on the other side we have this one here and this one here like this let's click ok like this now here on this hole we have to create a cylinder so let's go on the front plane and let's create a sketch let's go normal too let's choose here convert entities let's choose this edge here let's click ok and now we want to extrude this circle. So let's go to the feature, extrude boss base. For direction one, we're going to choose up to surface like this. And we're going to choose this face here. As well here, let's check direction two. Let's go with up to surface again. And now let's select this surface here like this. Now here we have a merge result. If we uncheck merge result, this will be body two. So this body won't be part of this model. So we have multi-body part. And this is what we want because later when we're going to create a hole here, we will have to unselect this body because we don't want to create a hole on this body. This one here. Because if we use one body, then we can't use feature scope. We must have multi-body part to use a feature scope. So let's uncheck here, merge result, and let's click OK. Like this. And now here we can see the folder solid bodies and we have two bodies. Body one and body two here and this is what we want now on the front plane we have to create a sketch because with this sketch we're going to create a rib so let's go on the front plane and let's create a sketch let's go normal too like this let's choose a line let's start from this vertex here and let's go to this edge here like this now you can just simply click on this edge here hold ctrl click on this line and let's go with the tangent relation let's click ok and now our sketch is fully defined now we can just simply go to the features, rip. We're going to go here with thickness, both sides. Here we have rip thickness 10 millimeters. Make sure that you have here extrusion direction up to body. And this is not up to body. So let's check here flip material side like this. Now if you click OK, this won't work because we have multi body part. Here we have to select the body. So let's select this body here. And now we can just click OK. Now this works. We have to create another rip on the other side. We can also now create a sketch on the front plane or we can use a mirror option here. 
So let's go to mirror. Here for a mirror face plane, we're going to choose here right plane. And now we can see the preview. Here for a features to mirror, we have a rip to this one. Now let's click OK. And this is what we want. Now we have to create a three holes on this face here. Let's start first with the smallest hole with the diameter 5 millimeters. So let's go on this face and let's create a sketch. Let's go normal too. Now let's choose here a circle and let's go right to the origin. Here. Now let's choose smart dimension. Let's put here a diameter of 5 millimeters. Now let's go to the features and let's go with extrude cut. Here we're gonna go with true all, like this. Now we don't want that our hole will go through this part here, through this cylinder. That's why we go here down and here we have a feature scope. So when we were creating a cylinder, we had to unselect merge results because you can't use feature scope if you don't have multi-body parts. So now we can uncheck here auto select and here in this dialog box, we have to choose which solid bodies our circle will affect. So we're gonna choose this body here. We won't choose this cylinder. Now let's click OK. And now if we go here to the section view, we can see that this hole doesn't go through this part here, through this cylinder. Let's cancel. And in the last step, on this phase, we have to create another two holes by using hole wizard. So let's go here to the hole wizard. And here for the hole type, we have to use contour bore, this one. For a standard, we have to use N-symmetric. For a type, we have to use hex cap screw. For a size, we have a M5. Fit, we have a loose. If we show custom sizing, we have 5.8 millimeters through hole diameter. Here we have 12.24 contour board diameter. Here we have contour board depth 3.65. And this is what we want. As well, here for end condition, we have blind 15 millimeters. So this is what we want. Now we can go to the position tab. And now we have to select the face on which we want to create those two holes. So let's select this face. And now we can position our hole here. So the first one will be here. And the second one will be here. And now let's go here to Smart Dimension. Let's go Normal too. Now let's put a mansion between this center point and this edge. And this is 15 millimeters. As well on the other side, Let's choose this center point and this edge, and also this is 15 millimeters. Let's click OK. Now we can see that those two center points are blue, which means they are not fully defined. We can see here under defined. Now let's select this center point, origin, and this center point here. Let's go with vertical relation. Let's click OK. Now we have fully defined sketch. And now let's just click OK. And now here we have two holes. And our model is done. Now we have to calculate the mass, so let's go to Evaluate tab, Mass Properties, and we have 153.62 grams, and this is correct result. In the task 2, we have to modify the previous model, so this hole in the task 2 goes through all. So we have to go here to this hole, this is Cut Extrude 1. Let's go Edit Feature. And in this dialog box, we're going to also select this cylinder, like this. Let's click OK. And now if we go to the section view, we can now see that our hole goes through all. And this is what we want. Now let's exit. And now we have to change our global variables. So let's go here to the equations, manage equations. For A, we have 140 millimeters. And B is the same. Let's click OK. And now let's calculate the mass. So we have 187.56 grams. And this is correct result. In the test tree, we have to add a material and we have to change global variables. So let's go here to the material, right click and edit material. Let's choose here alloy steel. This one here. Apply and close. And now here we have our alloy steel. Now we can go to equations, manage equations. And for the A, we have 150 millimeters. And for the B, we have A multiplied by 2 divided by 3. So instead of 4, we have 3. And let's click OK. Now let's calculate the mass. So we have 2029.64 grams. And this is correct result.